Okay, I just want to make a quick note here for all of you that haven't seen the integration DVD that we've created for View 5. And it basically covers the importing and exporting of objects. Now we really want to take a look at uh, some of the importing, uh, which can be a problem uh, for certain aspects of the object import, and that is pretty much UV maps. Uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to load in an object and just click load and we're going to use one of uh, the objects that come along with view uh, just so that you can also have these available. I'm going to just grab the deep sea diver and click OK and now if we take a look at this object we can see uh, this was more than likely created in Poser and brought in and saved for a view format but the main thing is the texture. Now, uh, depending on what software program you're using or what the shape is of the object, uh, you're going to notice different types of uh, texture mapping methods where you have uh, cylindrical mapping, uh, cubic mapping, and things like that. Well, uh, Vue does not support those as far as importing. Um, it does to an extent but because of the sizing differences uh, between Vue and other different programs, because there's really no grid size uh, within Vue, there can be some uh, problems where you'll have to resize a lot of your textures to get them to uh, fit correctly. And this is really a huge problem if you're using planar mapping and you're using an auto size feature uh, within your other 3D animation program. So if we take a look at one of the textures here, uh, we'll just right mouse click and it's going to give us uh, all the different textures that are available and uh, let's just take a look at uh, mask and edit the material uh, you can see we have a mapped picture for that and this map picture is based on a UV map and we can really take a look at that if we uh, edit the function and go to our function editor and we can see that we have UV coordinates added to this uh, so you want to make sure that whenever you're importing anything into Vue that you have exported it from your other 3D animation program uh, with UV coordinates. Uh, so even if it's a simple mapping, uh, really plain texture, you still want to make sure that you have a UV map for it. Because otherwise Vue will have a very hard time uh, setting up your sizing correctly for that texture. So all the textures on this model that we have in here are all pretty much uh, UV'd except for things that don't need to be. Uh, if we take a look at this bubble too, uh, which really isn't part of uh, the actual object, that's uh, more than likely was textured within view. Uh, but if we take a look at the main parts of the body and really take a look at the materials, you'll notice that they're all UV maps and they're all image maps that are linked to the UV. So all the UV maps and UV coordinates are all embedded into the model and just make sure that you have those uh, with your models when you import them uh, into Vue because it will save you a lot of time uh, so you don't have to go through and actually edit your materials because that will happen because uh, if we notice if we go to edit this material and uh, since this is set to image scale 1, 1, the same thing is going to happen if you import anything in uh, that is uh, textured with a flat or faces or cylindrical, spherical, or any of these uh, texture map modes within another software program. And it will keep your size at 1 by 1. And if you have it positioned in a certain way or a certain, even the size will be different. And you'll have to change that as well. And then you'll have to go and set those specific points. So just make sure you have your UV maps and you'll be all set for uh, exporting your objects from your 3D software app and into uh, View 5 Infinite.